light and shadow light as we enter into a dark room we are not able to see anything even if we try to do so the moment we switch on a bulb or light a candle we immediately see all the objects kept in the room an object is visible to us when light falls on it when we see any object around us it is due to the light therefore light is equally important to us just as the environment around us light is a form of energy that enables us to see the objects sources of light an object which gives us light is called the source of light the sun is the main source of light for our planet burning candle electric bulb tube light gas light oil lamp safety lamp torch light fire and flame are all sources of light there are two sources of light one natural sources of light two artificial or man made sources of light natural sources of light the sun has enormous amount of energy it is the main natural source of light stars are also natural sources of light artificial or man made sources of light burning candle oil lamp tube light etc are the artificial or man made sources of light they enable us to see objects during night time luminous and non luminous bodies the bodies such as the sun stars burning candle electric bulb etc which produce their own light are called luminous bodies the bodies such as moon do not have light of their own hence are called non luminous bodies we can see it in shining because it reflects the light of the sun when light falls on any non luminous object it gets reflected in all directions transparent translucent and opaque objects when light falls on an object it can have either of the three effects on it transparent translucent and opaque the objects which allow the light to pass through them completely are called transparent objects examples clear glass and clean water are transparent objects the objects which allow only a part of light to pass through them are called translucent objects examples tracing paper frosted glass wax paper and oil paper are translucent objects the objects which do not allow the light to pass through them at all are called opaque objects no object can be viewed through these objects examples wood chalk notebook and bodies of animals are opaque objects shadow when light falls on an opaque object it cannot pass through it when an opaque object is placed in the path of light a dark patch is obtained behind the object this dark patch is called its shadow size of the shadow shadows are very long in the morning when the sun rises their length starts decreasing till noon and they are shortest at noon shadows go on increasing in afternoon and become very long just before the sunset take a source of light and a cardboard screen in a dark room at night place a cardboard screen at one corner of the wall ask your brother or sister to stand in front of the cardboard screen allow the light from a torch to fall onto your brother or sister can you see the shadow on the cardboard screen you can see the size of the shadow is equal to the size of your brother or sister now ask your brother or sister to slightly move forward from the cardboard screen what do you observe now
you can see the size of the shadow is larger than the size of your brother or sister the size of the shadow depends upon these factors one the size of the object and the size of the source of light two the distance between the source of light and screen three the distance between the object and screen hence we conclude that a shadow forms only when there are a source of light and opaque body and a screen eclipses we know that the earth revolves around the sun and the moon revolves around the earth during the revolution of the earth and moon it so happens sometimes that the sun the earth and the moon come in a straight line in this case light from the sun is obstructed by the earth or the moon as a result a shadow is formed this phenomenon is called an eclipse solar eclipse when the sun the moon and the earth come in a straight line with the moon in the middle the shadow of the moon may fall on some portions of the earth then a solar eclipse can be seen from these areas on the earth during a solar eclipse the dark side of the moon faces the earth therefore a solar eclipse will always take place on a new moon day in places where a solar eclipse is witnessed the sun disappears from the sky for a brief period of time lunar eclipse in a lunar eclipse when the sun the earth and the moon come in a straight line with the earth in the middle the shadow of the earth falls on the moon when a lunar eclipse occurs its bright side faces the earth that is lunar eclipse occurs on a full moon day know this night is a shadow when night falls you're standing within the shadow of earth